Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is a quick update video about Filmora. And now we have Filmora 11.6 with some interesting features. So I'm going to show you all the new features of this version. The first one, you will have RGB codes, which is useful for color grading. And the second one is the ability to import your footage from cloud service such as Google Drive, OneDrive or Dropbox. And the third one is the ability to import SRT file into the program. Normally, Filmora is able to create an SRT file, but it cannot import SRT file, so it's strange. And the last one, we will have some dynamic countdown effect in the program, and I think it is interesting. Okay, and if you want to get the latest version of the software, all you need to do is to check for updates right inside the program. Or you can just download and reinstall it from their website. Or you can click the link in the description for you to just re-download and reinstall the software. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so this is my Filmora 11.6. And if you want to see the version that you are using, you can click half and then you can select about. So the version is 11.6.3 and let's close this window. So the first option is the ability to color grading with curve. For example, here I have a video here on the timeline. So this is a video of me and my daughter. So nothing to do here, just, just a video because I shot with my Canon 800D. It is in, in standard picture profile. So we don't have so many things to do. Uh, with the color grading. By the way, if you want to access to the color grading tools in Filmora 11, all you need to do is to select the video here and then you, you can click this button, color and then color correction. Okay, just click here. And then you want to go to the adjust tab right here and scroll down so you will see this curve. And this curve we have the contrast and red and green blue channel. Okay, but uh, when adjusting the color or adjusting the contrast or shadow or highlight of the video, you need to take a look at the histogram. You have, you must know how to to read the histogram. Okay, for example, on the left side is the shadow or pure black, and on the right side is the highlight or pure white. If you want to increase the highlight, you want to just click here at the edge and try not to push the wall here on the right side for the highlight and if you want to increase your shadow and you can do the same right here and you can also click any here on the on the line here to create a point okay just click here at the mid-tone area and then you can increase this one so that's easy right and for the red green and blue you can do the same you want to have more red on your image you can select red channel and then you can select an image a, a point on your image or video for example i can select this one so this would create a new point here and then i can just increase it okay so this is the new feature in filmora 11.6 and i think it is interesting and maybe i will make a new tutorial on how to color grading with curve in filmora 11 okay and that is the first option uh, let's click ok and the next option is the ability to import your footage from cloud service if you are here in the main user interface all you need to do is to click this import button but be sure to go back to your media and then you can click import and now we have an option to import from other application so we can select google drive OneDrive, or dropbox or stuff like that if you select google drive it will ask you to sign in to your google account and then authorize wondershare to access to your google drive but for me, I would not do that because maybe for safety reason, I don't want to allow other application to access my Google Drive. If I want to download something from Google Drive, I would do it myself. Okay, so that is the second new feature in the program. And the next one is the ability to import an SRT file to the software. For example, we can go back to the media and then just double click here. And I have some SRT file here. For example, I can import this one. This is an English subtitle it is from one of my clients by the way we can just select it and then click open and now it will be here in the media folder and you can just put it on the timeline and let's delete this one first and then we can just play 
uh, okay so this is not the one but we can play and to see the subtitle so this is a subtitle and now you can convert this subtitle to voiceover or text to speech uh, with Filmora for example I can split the subtitle right here and then I can delete because I don't have enough character to use for my free plan okay if you want to convert this subtitle to to voiceover you want to select it and then you can select this button take to speech and I just click here and then you can review select a language that you want to convert and also double click at the voice you want to use and I'm going to select this one Bella and then I'm going to click OK so it will convert my text to speech and create a, a new audio track and let's close this one so this is a new audio track and listen to it. This first section is to check identification. The test has not officially started. Okay, so it's very interesting and perfect. So we don't need to adjust anything. Just extend the duration of the subtitle right here. Section is to check identification. The test has not officially started. Okay, so that is the third new feature in the program. And the last one is the countdown effect. You want to go to the effect tab right here, and then you will see the timer folder right here. So we have 50 more countdown timer here, totally free. Okay, so there are many things right here. You can just double click to download the, the effect, and then you can just drag and drop it and put it on the timeline to create a timer like this. And if you want to control the effect, all you need to do is to double click at the effect here on the timeline and now you will have some option. The first option is about the number. So this is the number. The number is the text here on, on the preview window. I'm sorry, I'm going to click again. You want to set the duration for your timer. You can set it right here. For example, I can change it to 3 minutes and I can even set the second, 30 seconds and stuff like that. And I can also adjust the text position in, in X and Y horizontally and vertically. And you can also increase the scale of the text also. So that is for the number only. And if you want to have full adjustment of the effect, you have the general tab right here. So just scroll down here. And then you, you can adjust the speed of the timer also right here. So make it faster or slower right here and you can adjust the scale of the effect and also move the effect to left or right or maybe you want to move it to the bottom with this slider okay x and y slider and you can even change the theme of the effect also and the theme is down here just scroll down here you can change the text color by selecting this option and then click more and maybe i can change it to red Okay, so we have a red text right here for the background. I can also change it to a different color like this one and then click OK. So it is very interesting to have full control of the effect that we added to our video. Because normally if we use the countdown overlay, we cannot control the effect like this. And I think it is very interesting to have this new feature in Filmora 11. Alright, so that's everything you want to know about Filmora 11.6. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.